Hi there, so today we want to simplify this fraction that contains negative exponent of one-third. And so the first thing that I would do is I would look at the negative sign as a step to uh, get rid of that because negative exponents are never considered fully simplified in the final answer in an algebra question. So a negative exponent means reciprocal or in other words flip the fraction over. So if we do this and write 343 over 216 instead of 216 over 343 then that would be with an exponent of positive one-third. We've done the reciprocal so the negative sign goes away from the exponent. The next thing is to think about if we can simplify any further because when you have an exponent on a fraction, if you can apply it to the top and to the bottom and simplify either one of those, then you would want to continue to do that. So we can rewrite this really as 343 to the one-third power over 216 to the one-third power. Now what does a fractional power like one-third really mean? Okay, well there's two parts to a fractional exponent and when you're wanting to evaluate an exponent like that on a base, you need to know that there's a special rule for doing that. It says that if you have any base, we'll call it B right now to stand in for the base, with a fraction on top of A over N, that it can be rewritten using a radical like this where the base B is inside and then the bottom of the fraction power N is the index and the top of the fraction power goes as a power on the base B. So if we were to rewrite this expression like that then for example the 343 to the one-third power would be like this. The 343 would go inside, as that's the base. The bottom number on the fractional exponent is a 3, so that goes in here. And then the top number is a 1, so if you were to write that in it would be like 343 to the first power, which is just still 343. So whenever you're trying to evaluate a fraction power, it's usually better to rewrite it like this. It's called radical notation because we're more familiar with it and we can see if it's possible to calculate. Do the same thing on the bottom. 216 to the one-third would be the cube root of 216. And you don't really need to write this one in because it's the first power. You really only need to put that in if it's anything other than one. But I'll put it in just for today so that you know that's where it would go. Lastly, um, we need to determine if we can calculate these roots and the way you know if 343 has a cube root is if it is a power of something to the third power. So if it turns out though that 7 times 7 times 7 or in other words 7 cubed is 343. Oops. 343. So that means the cube root of 343 is 7. And the cube root of 216 is also calculable because 6 times 6 times 6, or in other words, 6 to the third power, would give you 216. So going all the way through, this original problem actually simplifies to a very simple fraction of 7 over 6. Hope that helps.